Raya, 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 Raya. Thanks for the recommendation. Trigger warning, content warning. This movie deals with uh, suicide uh, a bit differently, I guess. Uh, it's a dark human movie, so if you aren't into, like, if you are not comfortable with uh, that subject or the way dark humor is, uh, this movie is not for you probably, and I don't think you should watch this review either because it's like you don't need to watch this review hi hemlock society came out in 2012 is a bengali romantic uh, dark humored movie uh, <laughs> directed by srijit uh, mukherjee yes i know it's a bengali film i don't speak bengali uh, i watched it with uh, subtitles on hotstar movie stars koel malik and parambrata chatterjee this is going to be a spoiler review so if you haven't watched this movie i'd recommend you watch this movie first and then come back and watch this review and if you don't mind spoilers you can't for that so that's a spoiler warning before i move on to the uh, plot of the film let me address the name of the movie yes hemlock society is a direct reference to the actual hemlock society uh, that existed in between 1980 to 2003 in santa monica california uh it was basically an assisted suicide uh, advocacy organization so yeah let's get on with this movie review meghna gone with some shit in her life uh is tired of living and she wants to kill herself anand ka who is of who is the founder of uh, hemlock society he uh basically teaches students uh to how to, how to properly commit suicide Hear me out before you judge this movie or me for reading this film. He teaches the stu- students how to commit uh, suicide as to not have it end up in a failed attempt basically. Meghna takes those classes, she uh, meets some people over there and she changes her mind. She doesn't want to kill herself and later on we find out that Hemlock Society is not a uh, suicide uh, assistant uh, organization basically he is just they basically teach how to get a suicidal person to see the better parts of life so yeah that's the movie i haven't been conflicted by a movie in like forever because i don't know how to feel about this movie there were some choices the movie makes uh, which i kind of disagreed with but i'll get to that in a moment uh let's start with the basic the acting was okay it was okay i'm sorry to say it, it wasn't like that great koel malik's hair was really nice the hair was really pretty i really like the hair but like there were maybe extensions i don't know the but her hair distracted me every time i was like oh my god those hair they are so pretty uh, anyway parambrata chatterjee was a star of the film he was so good i He was like the favorite he was like my favorite part of the film and I I really enjoyed every single scene he was in now the choices that I was talking about firstly the most weirdest thing about any indian cinema meghna just starts singing out of nowhere and it's accompanied by like an orchestra basically and so does anand he is also singing every now and then but anand is quite understandable he has guitar and everything uh, it just i that that kind of took me out of the whole movie and my biggest issue with the movie it's a personal thing some parts of the movie that about making you aware that life isn't as bad they were like the the idea of it was really nice but the execution wasn't that good because basically telling a depressed person that their problems their life problems aren't as bad as other people's life problems like that i'm kind of against that that you shouldn't say something like that because the movie is just okay so the scene which i'm talking about specifically is that with meghna and what's her name hia <coughs> who is like a girl who is sold off to a, to a brothel by her uncle and molested by her uncle i think and she wants to uh, kill herself uh, which she tells in a really graphic way uh, it was very impactful and it was a really bold move from the movie but the movie had the guts to go yeah all the things you just heard from here 
those were all a lie she is just an actor and that was just like i know it's not my place but it is kind of offensive for the people who are actually going through that shit and i didn't quite agree with the way it was portrayed the idea of it was really nice but the portrayal of it was it wasn't that great i just i just did not like that decision as much uh but again this is a dark humor movie so you can't expect it to be perfect and one last thing at the end uh, with meghna's ex fiance who is trying to commit suicide and anand comes and uh, they both like take, he takes uh, the fiance to uh, the hemlock society <laughs> that was a bit unnecessary the movie would have done just fine without it in my opinion honestly parambrata chatterjee was the best part of the film uh, his jokes landed almost all the time and even with the language barrier that's something to say not for everyone in my opinion if you don't mind uh, dark humor dark jokes and stuff like that and if you, if uh, suicide and all those um, things don't you know make you uncomfortable go ahead you can watch this movie but uh, don't expect a lot from this film it's a good film but it has some cheesiness it's not perfect the acting was okay it was it was fine it wasn't that bad i i would say i enjoyed this movie but, but the movie peaks when parambrata chatterjee is on the screen like uh, hands down he is amazing this film they made a remake of this film in marathi uh, called welcome zindagi i couldn't find it anywhere i'll try harder to find it uh, and review that and see how different that is so i'm stuck on for that um so yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye